Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So I've had a number of folks reach out asking how they could self-host on their local computer the PS5 4.03 kernel exploit. Now, another quick thing I just wanted to mention was, was that just a few moments ago, really 34 minutes ago, 4.50 support was also added. So this isn't just limited to 4.03, but 4.50 also has support now. So if you don't want to use some of these hosts, you know, such as the seven in one site right here or some of the other ones that's currently out, then this video will be for you. Now, there is some instructions that's in this. So if we scroll down just a little bit here, you can see that there is some instructions on how to configure fake DNS and some other steps in order to run it locally on your machine. So that's what I want to cover here today. Now, there is a couple of things that you're going to need to install first. The very first one is make sure you just have Git installed on your machine. So this is obviously for source code management. So you can just come here and then select your operating system. And then there is instructions on how to download that and get that set up. And so next, you're basically just going to want to download the latest version of Python. So the latest version is 3.10.7. That would work absolutely fine. Just simply download that and install that on your computer. And then the last thing that you will need is going to be this fake DNS source code. Now, this is what was referred to in here, even though there wasn't a link to it. So go ahead and get Git installed, as well as Python, and then come right back to the video. Okay, so for those of you that already have Git and Python installed, what we're going to do first off is we're going to come over here to the fake DNS repository. We're going to go to code and then we're just going to click on this button right here to copy the HTTPS address to our clipboard. Now you need to go into your terminal if you're using Mac or the terminal app actually, or a command prompt on Windows. Okay, so I am using my Mac in this instance. And as you can see here, I am basically just inside of a folder that I created on my hard disk that is PS5 underscore 403 JB. That's just what I titled it. Right now, the only thing that is in it is the PS5 4.03 kernel exploit files. Now, make note that that is exactly the same thing as what I have right here. So you can either come up here and you can just download a zip and then just extract it into that folder, or you can use the same git clone command that we're about to use, except for with this URL. Okay, again, so we're going to do the DNS server. So we're going to type in an LSL. And again, the only thing that I have so far in this folder is just the zip file of that kernel exploit, and then it's just been extracted. So now I'm going to type in git clone, and I'm going to paste in that URL for the fake DNS, and then press return. So at this point, you should see where it says cloning into fake DNS, and it should be now cloned to your local computer. We can verify that by going into CD and then fake DNS. And we'll do another directory listing here just to show that we've got all of the same files that was in that repository. So the very first thing that we need to do is that we're going to need to create a dns.conf file to point to manuals.playstation.net to your PC or Mac's IP address. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So I am just going to use Nano. It is built in to the terminal here in Mac. Obviously, you can use Visual Studio Code or whatever editor or however you would like to create a file. So I'm just going to type here. I'm going to go nano dns.conf and then press return. 
Now, the very first record that we will need is going to simply be a capital A. That is just address. I know that because I read the documentation that actually came with this DNS GitHub repo, but you don't have to do that. So just type in A and then a space bar here, and then type in the word manuals.playstation.net. And then you want to do a space here and then type in your IP address. So there is my local computer's IP address. And again, there is just a ton of different ways that you can get the IP address on your computer. Obviously for uh, Windows, for example, you could type in IP config at the command prompt and so forth. But I have that now, so I went ahead and I pressed the button here to save it. And down at the bottom, you will see it says save modified buffer. And we're going to select Y here. Okay, so now we've configured this file and we have pointed it to manuals.playstation.net. Now we need to run the fake DNS by calling python fake dns.py dash C and then specifying that configuration file. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. Okay, so I just copied and pasted that into my terminal here. I'm going to press return. And then I do remember that it's actually Python 3, which is what I have installed. So you may need to add a 3, just like I did right here. And now this is running. So this is what you will currently see. So now we've got a DNS configuration file that is running, which is basically just going to reroute the traffic whenever it sees the manuals.playstation.net. Okay, so we've got the DNS server piece of it figured out. Now we need to get the host set up correctly. So let's look at that. Okay, and then back into the GitHub repo here. It says run the HTTPS server with just a Python and then a host.py. Again, this is referring to the host.py that is in the main 4.03 kernel exploit repo. So I just created a new tab and you will need to keep that existing process running, which was the fake DNS. This is going to be a separate tab. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to simply type in CD period period. And now I'm back at the main PS5 underscore 403 JB. And now I just am going to type in an LS dash L. That way we can see all of the files and we're going to navigate into this folder right here. So we'll do CD PS5 and then tab and then return. And so now we are in that main folder that we just looked at on GitHub. We can verify that with an ls-l here and there is the files and we especially want the host.py. So let's go ahead and run the Python host.py. Again, you might need to change that to Python 3 here and then press the return button. So at this point, everything looks great. Down at the bottom, it does say that it is running the server. And so now we need to go to our PS5's advanced network settings and set the primary DNS to your PC's IP address and we'll leave the secondary at this number right here. And we can do that pretty easy by going into settings and then network and then settings here and then set up internet connection. Again, we will press the options button on our controller right here and we'll go to advanced settings and then down here for primary DNS, this is where you want to put your local PC's IP address. And then for secondary, leave that at 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. And so now it says go to the user manual in the settings and accept the untrusted certificate prompt and then run it. And so once you have all that set, you can just press OK here. It will go ahead and reconnect to the internet. And then you'll simply just head back and go to user guide, user guide, and then user guide again. And that will bring you to the page. Now, mine has been set to another host as of the moment, just simply because I finally got the exploit to work. And 
I actually don't want to try it again. But rest assured, this does work. This was initially how I made that very first tweet. So I hope this video helps you set up a local host for you to play with on your own. So thanks again for watching and subscribe to the channel. Why not? I've got more goodness coming. I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.